Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayana. And so today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to make anklets. A few of y'all had requested it, so I just figured like, it's a short video. It really doesn't take long to make the waist, I mean the um, anklets. I sort of use the same method as, well I do use the same method as making the waist beads. Um, but today I'm gonna to be trying something just a little bit different because I actually do listen to y'all. Um, well, I actually like try y'all methods out. So will y'all leave comments and stuff like that? I'll actually try to test the methods for myself to see, um, you know, if I would like to do it that way or if I like it the way I do it. Okay. So today I'm going to use an elastic. Usually I make my inklets with permanent, um, with the regular string cotton thread that I use for my waist beads. Today I'm going to be making them with elastic because. I want to be able to take this inklet off and put it back on um and i'm also going to have a charm on here so i personally just don't want a charm dangling around my ankle all day and when i use the cotton thread it's permanent so in order for me to take it off i have to cut it off so yeah elastic is going to be the way to go but i'm going to be doing a little bit different i actually wanted to try out um pre-stretching the elastic first to see if that help with it not losing this, what is it, how you say the word? Elasticity. <laughs> Without it losing its stretch. Like I don't want it to lose its stretch. So I know a couple of y'all said try stretching it first and then, um, you know, put the beads on there. So I'm gonna be giving that a try and I'm going to keep y'all updated. So in my next video, I'll let y'all know, like, you know, with me taking it on and off every day, if it lost its stretch or not. Okay, all right, so basically what you'll need is, of course, your elastic uh, thread, or whatever it's called. Usually I use the Stretch Magic brand, but today, like this is usually for my orders, and I don't really like to play around with it because this big thing is, is like $19, like t basically $20, and yeah, I'm not going to play around with that. But today I'm going to be using this one. It's sort of the same um i know it's the same size i'm just not sure exactly who it's from but it's just for me to test it out so i'm going to have my elastic or you can have your cotton thread it's up to you and some beads i have two i have actually three different kinds of beads i have these pink beads here they're like a it's they're really pretty like a really neutral, like a neutral color and as i told y'all before neutral colors are my favorites then i have some gold beads. These ones are bigger. I believe these are about like a, I believe, I think they're like a six millimeter or eight millimeter, one of them. And then I have some gold, other gold ones, but they're smaller. These are like a 10 over zero or something. Okay. And I'm going to be doing like a, kind of like a little cute mix with these. And then I have my charm and it's an open lotus. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> It's an open lotus, it's really cute. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Oh yeah, okay, and of course you're gonna need your measuring tape, scissors, and your needle, okay? And remember, you use the open, you can use the um, big eye needles. So they're the best because you don't have to keep switching your needles around um, when you switch from the, the cotton strip thread or the elastic, so. This will fit inside of the big eye needle, okay? Um, I use the Venus needles, but you can use whatever you prefer, right? And mine look like that. I, I showed y'all before in another video. And it has like the open at the top, if y'all can see that. I hope y'all can see this. Whatever. All right, so, yeah. Now we're gonna take our Measuring tape, and we want to measure this out. Now, usually, I'll just make mine about 20 inches because I believe my ankle is like 12 inches going around. But I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna measure it again. I'm gonna measure it again. So I'm gonna take it around my ankle. Oh no, I lied. My ankle is actually nine inches long. I mean, nine inches. What's it called? Uh, my ankle is actually nine inches. But being as though it's nine inches, um, I'm not gonna make this string exactly nine inches. Like I still need room to tie in and stuff. So just to give myself some extra room, 
I'm going to add about probably like another, let's just do like another 9 inches to it. So let's just say we double the string. So I'll do 18 inches to give myself something to play around with. So I'm going to take my measure, I'm at my elastic, place it on the 18. I'm going to run it down. And for those who was asking about like the measure, I mean who was telling me about the measuring, I know somebody told me like you start from the silver part. I actually do, I, I do that now. I start from the silver part instead of starting from one. Because it does make sense. Okay. And remember that this is elastic. So when you're measuring it, you really want to be careful. Like not to pull it like it's regular, um, like it's the regular cotton thread. Because it'll just stretch. And then you're not really getting that measurement. If that makes sense. So what I do is I like run mine down. I'm, a, I keep, I'm, a, I'm trying to show you or explain it to you. But I'll like hold it on 18. I'll run it down a few inches and then I'll hold it where it's where that's it. And then I like I I basically y'all can see what I'm doing, right? And I do it like this and I hold it. Make sure I'm holding the elastic on the um measuring tape. Run it down again. And I'm gonna hold it there. And then I should be able to cut it right there. Just so that I won't lose, you know. Just so that it won't be like measure all crazy. Alright. And I cut that off. So now I have my strand. And we don't need these anymore. So I'm about to actually stretch this out. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to do it. But I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Alright. So I don't want to do it too, too much I guess. But that probably would be too much, right? All right, so I think that's just about as far as it's going to go for right now. Anyway, but I stretched this out. Let's see how. I was, so remember, I did it to what 18 inches. Let's see how far I did it stretch out. So it stretched to 20. So it stretched about two inches. All right, so that would be good. And then basically, so let's just start making our anklet. So. You're going to tie a knot. So remember like the same way that we do the other ones. You're going to tie a knot at the end. So you definitely want to leave some room. I always make this mistake y'all. Always. And I'll be so annoyed at the end. So I'm glad I just remembered. You want to make some, leave some room at the end of your um, strand. So don't tie the knot directly at the tip. You want to tie the knot like maybe like a two, two to three inches down the third, down the string. The elastic. Alright so... Yeah, I'm going to do my knot right there. These knots on this is really, really tiny. So you want to double it. And you want to make sure that you pull it tight with the elastic because um, elastic tends to unravel. And you want to make sure that you're getting it directly over top of that second knot. Just like we did in the other video. And you want to get it down. And the knot will basically be start. It will become bigger and bigger and bigger as you go. But this is like we are basically creating an anchor for our beads and that way they won't slide off. And I definitely recommend that you do this at both ends. So even when you finish the um the anklet, you want to do it at the other end too. That way it'll just um like say if your say if your knot, your final knot is not really tight, then the when if it pops off or something, all of the beads won't necessarily just pop off. Like they'll still be secure by those anchors. And then you could just always tie a big one if that makes sense. Okay, so I have my knot there. I'm not sure if y'all can really see it, but I have my knot, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shred my. I'm going to uh, put my elastic through my hole, my needle. All right, and then these type of needles. It depends on which one you're using, but these type of needles here. All I do is just put pull the elastic down, right, and that's it. I don't have to do anything else. It's going to stay. No matter what I do, it's going to stay up there. Okay? That's why I actually really like these ones. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure how I want my anklet, but I might just basically just come up, just go with the flow. Right, so remember I said that my ankle is nine inches. I want my 
before I place my charm, this is very important. You don't want to just place your charm anywhere. So you want to measure. So I'm going to make sure that my charm is in the middle. I'm going to measure this to about probably like four and a half to five inches long. And I'm going to place my charm here. So yeah, this is about, this is actually perfect. I'm going to place my charm between there. I could put it on now. Because remember, the rest of the string is just um, just extra. So, it, your ankle is really, really not that big, I promise. Unless some people have kinkles. That's a different story. This is actually really, really pretty. I actually got this idea because I had... Um, because I, I'm starting this thing, it's, I'm going to call it Waste Speed Wednesday, where I basically come up with a creation, like, because I, I do have, like, my things that's posted on here, but sometimes I just be having so many beads that I just want to get, like, a little creative, and I um, want to, you know, basically post a new Waste Speed every Wednesday, and there's only going to be a select few available, so I actually got that idea from making these waist beads. These are for waist bead Wednesday today. And I'm gonna post those on my website shortly. They'll probably be up before this video. All right, so remember, it only needs to be nine inches long. Now this is elastic, so you don't really wanna make it like, if you're doing permanent, then you could have excess beads to where you cut them off with the string. But elastic, you don't really need to have excess beads, so you could kind of just make it exactly to fit um, nine inches, like for your ankle measurements. I think I kind of went over my nine inches though, so let's see. Oh, nope, I'm actually perfect. But we want to take a couple of more. And y'all see me keep measuring because I don't want to go over, like I just told y'all. I don't want to go over, I don't want to put too many beads on there. It's just going to be a waste of time. Ankle, anklets really don't take that long to make at all. I'm going to take, probably, I mean, it's actually right there at nine. I do think I will make it like just a little, I should take one more off. Okay, so this is my anklet right here. This, this is really pretty, I'm going to love this. All right, so remember I told you you want to have your um, anchor. So you want to tie another anchor. Now I'm not going to tie it at the tip. I mean, at the, um, you know, three inches away from the tip like I did this one. I'm actually going to tie it right above this bead because um, it's actually like a really good tip for y'all. Right? This is really good tip for when you make a waist beads, necklaces, anklets, bracelets, whatever. You want to keep all your beads together. So like you see how they scrunch up a little bit? You want to like push them, pull them all the way down. Make sure they're all together so that way you don't get no space in. And then I'm going to wrap this around my finger, around two fingers actually. It'll be easier. And pull this through. And I'm going to tie it. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that this knot, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to hold the beads. And I'm going to start to pull the knot down. I hope that this makes sense to y'all. Um, just so that it can really get in here. It could get right at the tip because you could make the knot and then once you go to pull it, it'll be like all the way above or somewhere it's not supposed to be. And you want to make sure that you do another knot right above, right on top of the initial, that first knot. And you want to do it again. And just like the other side, the knot will eventually just start getting bigger and bigger. So I basically, I already have my knots there and these are not going to go anywhere. They're very solid. So... This is the anklet, and then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tie it together, okay? See, these are elastic, okay? I'm going to make another video of making a permanent anklet, um, but you won't make a permanent anklet like this. You'll actually wrap the permanent anklet around your ankle before you tie it. Is it? Oh. <laughs> you'll wrap the permanent anklet around your ankle before you tie it but the, the elastic you'll tie it before you put it on or you could wrap it around and do it but I prefer to tie mine before I put it on um, now when you make that first initial knot 
you want to pull them together so that that way it could be like closed tight and then we're going to do it again more second juice and again and now we're going to do something that's called a surgeon's knot this is very important for elastic it's specifically because um, elastic can unravel like I said so you know how you do a regular knot like this is that before you pull you'll go under again and then you'll pull and I'm gonna do that again actually I'm gonna do a regular one and then I'm gonna do it again just to lock that in a place and I'm gonna do it again I know it might seem like this knot is big or I'm not in it too much but I promise you don't want these to pop like you want these to last and elastic can pretty much last forever if you have it I mean if you um, do it right all right and I'm gonna do it one more time and then I should be finished and then I'm gonna cut this off. Now it's very, very important. Remember I told y'all elastic unravels. So what I do is, like just about like here, I hold my knot right there. So I put my knot right here, and then I put my fingers up, and I kind of cut like right near the tip of my finger. I don't cut my um, my elastic strand like below that because they, it unravels. So if the, string, the strands are cut too short, They'll basically slip right back through your knot and it's pointless. They probably can be just a tad bit shorter. Just a tad. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take so you see how you have those two strands from where you cut it? What I do is I just run them back through my beads. Back the opposite way so then they basically disappear. And they won't show. If you want to leave them out, that's a, that's a preference, but I prefer, I think it looks like give it a better finish, more professional finish when you stick them through. So that's it. It's finished. I hope y'all can see it. And then I have, like you see the knot, but you can't really see it. Get it? <laughs> I'm going to try to get a close up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make y'all can actually comment some, put some um, video ideas down below that y'all would like to see. Maybe it's something that y'all would like for me to try, make, or whatever. Give me some ideas. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, see y'all.